He's already done lots of summits and plenty of world travel. But this week marks President Barack Obama's debut on the global stage that is the United Nations. And one issue is omnipresent, Iran's continued nuclear defiance. The president says Tehran must come clean on a program he thinks aims to build a bomb. We, along with our allies and partners, will continue to pursue strong diplomacy to ensure that Iran lives up to these international obligations. The Iranians will hold talks with the West next week, though they insist their programs off the table. Our message will be clear. We are serious. And we will soon see if the Iranians are serious. President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad may hear that message from others at the UN, but no meeting with Obama is planned. Obama will sit down again with Russia's Dmitry Medvedev, just days after scrapping a European missile defense system the Russians detested. And he'll join a summit on global warming sponsored by the UN's alarmed Secretary General. I visited the Arctic. There I could see for myself the melting glaciers. It was a frightening, frightening experience for me. Climate change is happening much faster than uh, we realized. But Obama's main goal in these meetings is stressing a new tone of cooperation and a contrast to the Bush years. Rather than throw up our hands and uh, walk away, we're trying to roll up our sleeves and get things done. So if nothing else, this week of global summitry will yield fresh evidence as to whether the president's determinedly multilateral approach will reap real benefits, or whether, as his critics contend, it's just more talk. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.